Hello world, PDR coming at you today with a uh, 2018 uh, Toyota Tundra. Real nice truck for a real nice guy. This is, a, this is a sad thing that happened. This is a brand new truck, guys. So um, in the event of moving something that was strapped across the top of the truck, we got these two large, uh, made by a two by four, I'm gonna have to say, because that's how they were made. Two by fours were strapped across the top, one there and one there covered with a uh, cover so no scratches no paint damage and if we look at this really closely let me analyze from a little farther back we've got the umbrella up so keep us out of the sun it starts about up here a little bit of scuff that i didn't buff see if you catch it at this angle there and then we've got this large area right here this larger area right here and then this one right here so we've got basically four dents a couple of brows that come out the side um we're going to spend the time doing the glue t glue pulling on this because basically what we want to do is seal, you know, get this back to the, the original form. Uh, customers are well aware that it's not going to be 100% because this is a huge job as far as paintless dent repair is concerned, guys. So let's start off by grabbing either that big football tab, maybe even one of these. Uh, switch my hat around. Maybe one of these wide Keikos. Oh, this isn't even a Keiko. This is kind of a cheapy tab. Let's grab this cheapy tab. Make sure that our gun is warm. Which it's not, so we're going to have to come back to you in just a bit. Just a tester pull. I'm just going to stuff this on there. Uh, the glue wasn't really warm enough, but I was just going to stick it on there only let it dry for a couple of seconds and give it a nice yank let's see what we get out of this one see nothing because that glue wasn't that glue wasn't hot enough yet. but just as it started to come out i wanted to give it a little bit of a tap on my tab there because that will allow me to clean my tab and i should probably put this So, we are out in nature, guys. I do appreciate everybody that clicked on this video. I really do. Let me stop dropping things. I think it's because this table is not level. There. There we go. That's what I wanted. Level table. Hot gun. I think I'm going to even set this right here. And this is a plastic bed liner if it drips. Uh, hot glue onto that. It's not going to do anything. It'll just peel right off. A little bit of ISO. Clean this tab. Honestly, I don't know if this is the tab I want to use. Did it even move? It looked like it might have moved a little bit. So, yeah, it looked like it might have moved a little bit. Let me use a little smaller tab. Um, I'm going to actually go with this really strong crease tab. Um, from Atlas and let me just give it a nice little pat of glue and I think I'm gonna hit it right down the center like that and since this is gonna be uh, done with the uh, slide hammer I can do as many tabs as I want because I don't need to have to worry about where the feet are gonna go on my little thing so I'm gonna go for the center and if you notice, this is right a little bit above, a little bit farther forward than the round, that last little round that, that I want it to crest kind of back here even more. But now let's take this little tab really quickly. One click of glue and we'll put it right down here. Give that one a little yank. And now let's go back to our first one. See if we actually move some metal here around moved some I felt like it maybe not I actually didn't clean well I, I buffed the surface but I didn't clean the surface with uh, alcohol so let's see once we clean it off with alcohol we'll get a much better pull 
because I had just uh, cleaned it off with uh, my wax, the 3M Perfected. Wow, guys, okay, so if we take a look at that, we've moved some metal down here, and then we've moved some up here, and we've got a little, well, a lot actually moved out of this one, so we're just gonna keep on it. I don't know if we're gonna do the speedy thing, or but basically, guys, I've planned a couple hours for this dance, so um, we'll probably do the speedy thing, or the frame by frame, or whatever we're gonna do to uh, for the next half hour or so, and we'll bring you guys back in when I'm kind of tapping down the brows and doing a little bit more work, but basically I'm gonna just keep on doing this over and over and over again. We've moved some metal. But bow, 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 tap, 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 tap. Just keep on it. Okay guys, I thought I'd bring you in for a little bit of the, the slow grind. We've got a lot of it out. Let's see. It's just, you know, put a tab on, pop, put a tab on. If you look at it uh, kind of over my head this way, you'll see a little wave right here. A lot of this roof line has gotten out. Um, and I know that this thing is pretty flush now it looks like it all the way around i don't know why this one still has a little tiny gap there but uh i think that's just the way that this thing is centered maybe i don't know yeah we might have the uh okay. the dealer so reseal it or whatever or probably need to put some silicone around so it. yeah we got a couple of poles made and what we're gonna do is grab this big tab and I think one of my biggest areas that I want to move, well, obviously this little guy right here, a lot of this one came out, and I think I want to just go right here, but with only about half the tab of glue, like that much. Slap it right in the center, low spot, kind of find my, you know, find the tension point where I know I want to pull it. I didn't go right into the hard low right here because I'm going to use a small, probably this Keiko Clear, for that bam and I don't want to place it yet I want to pull that thing first come around really carefully I should probably stand up there we go that was a good snap let's grab the ISO and this is uh we've probably been on this thing for about a half hour 45 minutes guys it's definitely not a easy dent in paintless dent repair by any means but for what we said we were going to do and what we've done so far, I think it's we're on track for making it look really nice. Um, nice forgiving thing is the, the color of the paint, obviously. Working on white, uh, super bright Toyota white. Makes it really uh, a little bit more forgiving because you get down to that last bit and a tiny little wave, especially on the top of the truck. Whoa, gosh, nice, huh? So if you look in here, we got a nice high spot right where I made that pull. It crested it, which is fine because I can just tap it down now. But uh, yeah, that means we actually got that metal to move the way we wanted it. And if you see, I'm using my rubber cap uh, R4 tip. And we are out here in nature. Please excuse the background noise. We don't have a... Uh, microphone on today so we're gonna be just using the normal mic that we're trying to talk loud enough for you we do have another one on order so yeah this is kind of the boring part this is kind of the part where it's almost like watching Watching paint dry, watching grass grow. We got this little high line out now and uh, straightening it up. 
I might even want to move the umbrella a little bit. But, uh, so yeah, Whitey's gonna keep on filming here. I don't know if we might just come back here and show you the final result in just a bit. Um, that's what we'll probably do. We'll come back in just a bit. Okay, guys, here's what we ended up with. Now, looking down the side here, um, I guess I could say we got it to that 80 to the 85% mark. If you want to look down through there, there's a slight wave there. And maybe, well, not even really really tough to see um, let's look at it this way cross check angle all four of those dents came out I'd say pretty darn nice there might be a little tug in the wave right where it was the most severe but uh, we showed it to the customer and they're super happy with it uh, I think it came out looking pretty darn nice for what we were attempting I mean this was a large probably 14 inches worth of dented area we got it up this thing's all secure this thing's all secure it didn't have to take anything apart um, and once again, I will say I sure do appreciate everybody clicking on this video. If you would hit that subscribe and hit those notification bells, you'll be notified every time uh, we make a new video. Um, other than that, you know, hey, I'll just say the thing. This has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.